hello beautiful people i welcome you back to my channel if you are returning viewer thank you so much if this is the first time you are coming across my video hello i am so excited you are here i really hope that you stay with me and you will subscribe and click on the notification button so that anytime i post a video you'll be part of the few people who will see it first and then you come and watch it i really appreciate you so in this video we'll be talking about questions you need to ask when you are in a relationship with someone most people in relationship aspire to take the relationship to the next level to me i see relationship to be working the same way as an interview when you go for an interview it is not automatic that the interview you'll be picked but then you go to prove yourself that a company should pick you because you have enough to offer so when you are in a relationship my dear please don't be blinded with only the love but i love him but she loves me that alone is not enough there are lots of things that you need to talk about before you decide to take the relationship to the next level that is why i'm going to tell you some few questions that you need to ask your partner when you start a relationship with a person so that at least you have a fair idea of the person you are planning to spend some time of your life with before you make a decision whether you want to spend the rest of your life with but note it is advisable you ask these questions right from the start of the relationship if you have already started your relationship and you've gone months or years i think it's not too late you can still sit your partner down you can still have a conversation and ask these questions if you are interested then you definitely have to keep on watching so let's get right into it the first question that you want to be asking your partner is what are your short-term goals everybody should have goals everybody should have goals in life and then you can't be with a person that you know that the person doesn't have any goals like the person doesn't have anything he or she wants to achieve in life so ask the person what are your short-term goals as we speak the next month the next six months what do you want to achieve the next question is the person's long-term goals that will let you know if the person is really focused in life if the person is really matured and if the person has goals and aspirations please there are people that when you ask them actually 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 then you see that this person really doesn't have a lot to offer also pay attention it's not only about asking the questions it's about the results the feedback you are getting if you see that the person has bigger dreams more than him or herself things that you think that this person <laughs> not in this life can the person achieve this you have to be concerned yes money is not everything but money has caused a lot of problems in relationships and marriages believe you me most problems in relationships and marriages if money were to be there the problem wouldn't have been there so you sit down with your partner and know the person's goals short term and long term and know how best both of you can come together or you can support the person or motivate the person or push the person to achieve those goals that he or she wants to achieve the next question you want to be asking your partner is that how do you see me you really need to know how the person sees you, you might be in a relationship with someone and it might happen that the way you see him is not the same way as he sees you so it's not about oh i see you to be a good person let the person give you instances the last time when you did this when you did that the last time when this person needed help and you helped the last time when i took you to my mama the way you you behaved when i come to your house when you do this and do that when you how you relate let the person give you instances don't let just a person oh you are a good person oh you are a nice person and then you are okay no get instances you want to be sure of how the person sees you the next question is i ask the person how do you feel about me these questions are very necessary because relationships and marriages my day they are serious businesses and you want to be certain of you might not be 100 percent certain but at least you might be certain of most of the things how do you feel about me my dear believe you me when a man is in a relationship with you most of them know when they are going if they are going to marry you or not most of them have already made their decisions about the relationship someone might be in a relationship with you and the person think oh this lady I think she is good she is this but so these questions are very necessary how do you feel about me the next question is that are there things that you wish i change and then you ask the person what if i don't change are you going to be able to live with that thing but when the person tells you the things he or she wants wish that you change about it would be very ideal if you try as much as possible to work on it and try if you could do something about it if you cannot let the person know that my dear i really appreciate you telling me i really work would love to work on it but i am not sure i can do this and if the person decides to be with you regardless then you know that the person is with you because he or she has decided to be with you
you would also want to ask your partner where do you see this relationship in x number of years where do you see relationship in the next two years where do you see this relationship in the next three years where do you see this relationship in the next five years i know someone who asked the boyfriend where do you see this relationship and the guy said i am not intending to marry any moment now and so when you think that you are ready and you want to marry you are free to work out and the answer alone you see a fair idea of the kind of guy you are going out with and what he thinks about the relationship so you ask the person where do you see this relationship in this number of years the person's answer to you should either inform you to be in the relationship or to start your exit plan how you are going to work out of that relationship you should also be asking the person questions like what do you think about shared bills someone would think okay when we marry i think it's going to be 50 50 i pay this you pay this what do you think about finances have a financial talk like have a financial meeting with the money you are going out with you have to talk about these things you don't have to wait then you marry before you talk about it money is very important talk about it what do you think about joint accounts what do you think about shared bills ask these questions there are ladies who think the man's money is for us the lady's money is for her ask these questions gentlemen ask these questions and know what you think we know someone who gives the, the wife money monthly and then when in the middle of the month the money finish whatever the wife buys she writes it down and takes it from the my husband at the end of the next month you need to be asking these questions from the lady you want to marry or from the man you are in a relationship with and then you should also ask him what is the number one thing you look out for in a partner is it beauty is it character is it charisma what is the number one thing that you look out for in a partner and then you ask you you ask yourself that's what number one thing that he or she has said do you have it if you are coming from different tribes ask what would your what does your family think about marrying someone from this tribe what do you think about settling with someone from this from my tribe you have to ask all these questions my dear don't keep mute when you come together as in a relationship it is not only about having sometimes you need to talk you sometimes you need to ask questions and then try as much as possible to get answers and then when the person is giving you the answer listen to what he is saying look at how he's behaving look at how it's coming out the facial expression because communication is not only about words we also have non-verbal communication and that type of communication is very necessary so preferably ask these questions face to face if you can't have it face to face then you do it maybe via video call or on phone call it shouldn't be like you sit down and have all and ask all these questions at a go no you can be asking them one by one from time to time and then you know what kind of person you are going out with and then you can make a decision whether to hold on or to move on thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you enjoy this video and i think you are also going to enjoy this particular video kindly click on the link and watch it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and click on the notification button and i know that i'm going to definitely see you in the next video